Creepy Basement Classroom, Episode 5, Feed the Beast, Part 1. Just as a heads up, everyone, this episode is going to focus on food. So if you're hungry, press pause, go make a sandwich, come on back. Glad you're back. So uh, for this Part 1, uh, we're going to be dealing with something called hyperbole. It's a type of figurative language. For more on this, let's go see our good friend from down the hall, Mr. Curtin. You want to define hyperbole? Some people would tell you that it's impossible to define, but it's not. It's just an extreme exaggeration. Thanks, Mr. Curtin. Mr. Curtin comes to us thanks to our sponsor, Wegmans Mountain W Hyperbole. Hi, I like to do action-y things like the sports, uh, or sometimes I do even more action-y things like jump off high places. And when I do enjoy those action-y fun times, I like to sip on Mountain W. But when I'm going to have some extreme fun, some extreme action-y fun, I go with Mountain W Hyperbole. I can run pretty fast. Let me get a sip of this hyperbole. Hyperbole! I'm good at social distancing. I can stay six feet apart. Let me get a sip of this hyperbole. Hyperbole! Hyper Okay, so now let's get to what we got to do for uh, this part one of this episode. We sent out a, a short piece of writing. It's an essay. We'd like you to read it. It's called A Generous Portion of Hyperbole. In this, the author describes mashed potatoes. And he uses, he uses some other figurative language, but he uses hyperbole quite a bit. So we'd like you to first read that. After that... Choose a food that you want to describe, and you describe it with four examples of hyperbole. Have some fun with it. Remember, go big or go home. Oh, no. All right. Go big and stay home. We'll see you back here in the basement real soon for part two.